the great British poet and playwright William Shakespeare once said, Everybody can be great because anybody can serve. You don't have to have a college degree to serve. You don't have to make your subject and verb agree to serve. You only need a heart with full of grace and a soul generated by love. As we celebrate the 5th Mendez Clan Surigao del Norte Chapter and 6th Mendez Clan Mindanao Wide Reunion 2017, we are now given the rare chance to redefine the term greatness, not through the town's patron saint or its acclaimed national hero, but rather in the person of the late Agustin Ganot Mendez. Some of you may dare to ask, who exactly is Mr. Agustin Ganot Mendez? It is written in the history of the wood that the first inhabitants of the place are mostly immigrants from the Visayas and neighboring provinces of Mindanao. One of the early settlers who was then the late Agustin Ganot Mendez who founded and named the swampy and watery areas, vast rolling valleys, mountainous terrain called him Tubod, which was derived from the local dialect term Tuburan, means full of springs that surrounds the very small place. The spring is so large that when fully widened, can provide an adequate water supply of the entire municipality and its nearby barangays and sitios. While some of the early settlers of the town were driven by greed and the desire to usurp lands for their own vested interest, the great Mr. Mendez's lifetime commitment was to develop and transform the place from a purely unspoiled jungle into an agricultural area where people can convene and engage in commerce. It was his aspiration for progress and development which inspired him to become the Tenente del Barrio and later on donate vast tracts of lands to its people which were subsequently used as the sites for its town hall, session hall building, municipal health office, municipal police office, municipal jail, municipal park and playground, as well as the Tobod Municipal Gymnasium. Aside from donating lands, the fraction of his property donated to the church approximately one hectare that resent the Roman Catholic Church. He donated Wood's sculptured saints for being a devoted Christian he was. The Porter saints named Saints Peter and Paul as our town's patron saints with their festivity dates on every 28th and 29th of June every year were engraved to the church memories. The Tuburanan are religious and God-fearing people, all of which are Christians, Roman Catholic predominates of different religious belief combined. Needless to state, his generosity, sacrifices, and selfless ideas eventually paid off when the town graduated from being a barrio of the municipality of Mainit into a municipality on September 18, 1957 through Executive Order No. 269 issued by the late President of the Republic of the Philippines, President Carlos P. Garcia, where the first inaugurated Tubod Municipal Hall building was the residence of the late Ingracio Soiman Mendez, son of the founder. The municipality of Tubod, geographical location, stood at the southern part of the province of Surigao del Norte. It is chiefly agricultural land. The rice lands are planted twice a year during the last months and early months of the year. Tubod is presently populated by about more or less than 15,331 people. 
It was bounded on the southern part by the municipality of Alegria and western part by the municipality of Mainit and on the northern part by the municipality of Placer. It is a small town that it has only an aggregate area of 4,847.98 hectares land area. As it develops, the municipality is blessed with nine barangays, namely Barangay Poblacion, San Pablo, Kawilan, Del Rosario, Marga, Kapayahan, Motorpool, San Isidro, and Timamana. Look around in our surroundings. There are two historical monuments installed adjacent to the Bold Municipal Hall building. One monument was on standing position in the Tubod Municipal Park and Playground, and the other, of course, who sits down beside the town hall. This monument, who sits, was a man of an hour being honored, respected, and valued for his greatness. The late founder of Tubod contributes many good things and deeds which an ordinary Tuburanon can attribute. However, the history of Tubod is simply not kind enough to have this imprinted in textbooks or its famous landmarks to prove its importance. Perhaps, for the late Agustin Ganot Mendez, this is just a trivial issue. For what is really important to him is that good deeds and achievements are embedded not on certificates, titles, or trophies, but in the hearts and minds of every Tuburanon. This great Tubod founder we pay tribute today, called to be the father of all times, not only to the Mendez families, but to all Tuburanon in general spectrum. <laughs>